just before the meeting uh, today, I did introduce, and we can talk about this, I introduced a bill on smart meters that would uh, allow an opt-out, um, or that would require the, the utilities to allow an opt-out. Um, it also has a few other provisions, uh, like those that don't want to opt out. They would at least, uh, they could only utilize it one time a, a month to report the, uh, the reading, unless the, unless the uh, citizen wanted uh, there to be more uh, readings. And so, I mean, DTE has been, uh, you know, talking about this as a way to save on meter reading, which is fine. Uh, they also have said that in the future you'll be able to interact with your appliances over the internet. Um, and that has caused people some concerns about privacy and if they can, if I can interact with it over the internet, maybe somebody, some hacker could too, or uh, there's some, uh, some level of privacy concerns about it. Um, there's other states that are wrestling with how to do these smart meters. I, I met with DTE. They, they ended up starting this program with a federal grant um, here in Michigan. And so, uh, you know, it would just, again, it would allow an opt-out. Now, the day after I introduced my bill, DTE came out and said they're going to allow an opt-out. Uh, so all up until then, they were saying no, uh, they were not. Uh, there are some citizens that have concerns about uh, health issues. In California, it's uh, become quite a a big deal that uh, had, has seen rallies at their state capitol and everything else. Um, I, you know, I just, uh, I think that, uh, again, that if somebody wants to opt out, if there's uh, some concerns, then they should be allowed to. And so that's, uh, yeah. What if they've already installed it and you didn't want it? Can you say? In my bill, they'd be required to allow you to, you know, to, that you could require them to remove it. In California, uh, they've spiked the price on that, so they've uh, made it. They charged a pretty significant amount of money for people that want to remove it. So I'll be watching as my bill goes through whether to make sure that they don't uh, they don't do that. I just want to bring up that I, regarding the smart meter, I actually sent ET a letter back in October, mm -hmm. and uh, basically I have a copy. I can have that. Uh, basically, tell them that I, I did not want it, and uh, then on Friday. I received this letter, and they basically went over, you know, this is supposed to be beneficial to you, right. and so on. <clears throat> but the, uh, the the paragraph here that made me gave me some pause was it says uh, the terms under which they take service authorize company personnel to access your premises for a number of reasons, comma, including but not limited to installing, inspecting, maintaining, and reading and replacing its meters. It says the advanced metering equipment referenced in your letter is not optional. It is, it is a required component of our company's method of delivering your electric service. Therefore, we plan to proceed with the advanced meter installation and scheduling. Okay. So, I just received that Friday as, as a certified letter. Huh. Um, so, I figured that... I'm trying to think when they... It was a week ago Thursday. So, it was before this letter, dated this letter, that they said they were going to allow opt-outs um, on the record. Uh, as a, in response, or maybe it was in response to my bill, I don't know, but, uh, well, I mean, uh, I can send you the, uh, their quote from their spokesperson <laughs> <laughs> that said that they're going to allow opt-outs, they're going to file it with the, you know, MPSC, uh, so yeah, that's, I'm surprised with, with the date, I would have thought that they would. You know, someone else got a letter, too, from a DTE, and they said they would, that it's a felony to remove if you have someone come in, uh, your own, if you hire your own electrician to come in yeah. and try to remove the meter, and, and you, they actually, you actually bought one from California, I think. She bought one on the internet somewhere, and they told her if she installed it, it was a felony. Wow. Yeah. I, I, uh, Even if she had it done by a qualified electrician. Yeah. Well, obviously. I mean, it's, you know, they can, they're basically telling you they're going to do what they want to do, and 